the moon good evening whichever time it may be that you're watching this video i'm trying to silence my phone okay i'm getting ready to i'm going to sublimate on this wine bottle and how i'm going to do that is i have my image that i designed I did my design, I did a Cricut design space and I am going to put the image onto this white glitter HTV. So I'm going to line this up to make sure it's even on the HTV. It's lined up even with it. There won't be any, um, I don't want any white space in, and I didn't leave much for bleed over. So I'm going to line that up completely. This is parchment paper that I have here down on my heat press. And I have it, the print side is up. And I did print this reverse. I did it in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to put my glitter, I mean my heat tape just to hold it in place while I press it. And this is parchment paper that I'm pressing it on. And then I have my other, the back side that I want to do on the opposite side of the bottle. And once again, this is white glitter heat transfer vinyl. I have it lined up. I just don't want it to. I don't want any white to be showing, so I'm just trying to make sure I have it. I'm going to tape it. I'm just taping it down to the parchment paper to hold it. And I'm going to press it for like 45 seconds, 350 degrees, light pressure. For 45 seconds. What I used was white glitter vinyl HTV. It's sublimation ink, sublimation paper. I designed it in Cricut Design Space where I, when I printed it out, of course, you mirror the image for sublimation. I cut it. I would suggest you do some bleed over uh, with this process. Have some bleed over on the outside. Um, heat press 350 degrees for 45 seconds. So it's going for 45 seconds. Then I'm going to put it onto the wine bottle itself. And we are at 35 seconds so far. We have 10 more seconds to go. And I'm doing this video where you see the whole process from beginning to end. There's no pausing in it. It's going to be the full process for putting this on this bottle. 45 seconds is up. Let's see what it looks like. Let's take a peek. Okay, it worked. Now, to get it off of here, it comes right off. Turn off my heat press. I'm peeling it right off of the parchment paper. Comes right off. Now, got my bottle. I need a heat glove and a heat gun. My heat glove and my heat gun. Let's do. We just have to make sure we put this on here where it's even. I gotta cover up. It's on the bottle. When you do this, make sure you get all of the glue out. I'm not worried about it because this is for me, so. 
So on the bottle, I'm going to take my glove. Because this heat gun is hot. And I'm just going to apply the heat to it. Let's see. It's on there. I'm going to do the back side. Uh, I'm put it like right about there. Put it on there. I'm pressing it because it's bubbling a little bit. So just use your thumb to kind of get the bubbles out while you're adhering it to the bottle itself. Starting to feel that heat through the glove. And I'm going to just wipe around there and wash that off. But it's on there. It's not coming off. I just did a wine bottle with HTV using sublimation. See, it's on there. There you go. Done.